discouraged, okay? That's why we watch game tape, to get better. It's like a master class in second. How are you, my friend? I'm doing incredible. How are you? Listen, in honor of you and the show, I got all geared up in my hockey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> woo, -woo, woo woo This is such a fun show. Not only, you know, for families, but any hockey fans out there, Golden Knights oh. or otherwise, are going to have so much fun watching this. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a really great show. I feel like there's a there's a lot of pressure of us to carry on the torch from the old old show and the old generation to carry on this torch and try and do as good of a job as the original Mighty Ducks did. The Ducks are a powerhouse organization. The record 10 state championships. A little different than the Ducks of the 90s. We last spoke for the sleepover this past summer for Netflix. Yes. You were, I have to say, a scene stealer in that. Thank you. Thank you so much. And there's a lot of people who shine in this series, but I just dare say, you know, you kind of you kind of steal a lot of lines and steal some hearts too. Thank you so much. Thank you. You even have you even get romance advice. You have a heart to heart with Emilio Estevez. How yes. amazing was that? It was crazy. He was it was crazy because I had never talked to him over the first episode because first episode was the pilot we shot back in February of 2020. So I didn't really talk to him over that because the first episode, we have some scenes together. We never like talk. The second episode, you guys will watch. There's a lot of me and Emilio and that scene, we really got into it and we really talked. And like in between takes, we'd laugh and giggle and it was, I really got to know Emilio over that scene by itself. So that was, that was really cool. He gave some really good notes. He really cared about me and the rest of the cast. It was, it was, he was really nice. Same with Lauren. Oh my gosh, she was, she was so funny too. You guys had some great scenes. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, Lauren, she's, she's incredible. And I don't think we're giving anything away because it's already out there. It was released today that, that there are some of the old former yeah, oh, gee, my we, thought, we thought that was supposed to be a surprise. And then I turned on my Instagram, there it was. I mean, it's out there now, so we can talk about it. Yeah, we can talk about it. Guess so. <laughs> well, is that nice to get that? I mean, you already have Emilio in there, but to get of that course. stamp of approval from the original Ducks? Me, the original Ducks, I got to meet Averman. Everyone was like, oh, your character's like Averman. You and Averman would be the funniest duo ever. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, well, that'd be great. And then they, they were like, yeah, so um, Averman's coming. I'm like, wait, what? So that was really cool. Averman and the whole, whole crew skated up. And now I'm allowed to say this. In the, all the other interviews, you're the only interview that I can say this. Go, all yes, the other yes. interviews, I, I couldn't say this. But in, the, in this interview, something really hit me. They were all like in a, this was the last day of episode six, which they're all in. They're all doing a team huddle. And I walk over and I'm like, hey, what's up? Goodbye, goodbye. I got some of their numbers, which is really cool. I love the Bash Brothers. They were so nice. Um, Connie, all of them, they were incredible. Woo, they're so nice. And basically, Averman turns to me, he looks me dead in the eyes, he puts his hand on my shoulder and he goes, if you ever need anything, all you do is contact one of us, we all know each other, ducks fly together. Hit me right on the shoulder and skates off. That hit me right in the ticker, right in the ticker. That was so beautiful. He was like, just touch one of us and we'll all get in. He was like, Batman, he just hit me on the shoulder and skated off and that was it, fade to black. It was beautiful. What did you say, it hit you right in the ticker? Right in the ticker, right here. Right here. You've got such great energy. You're so positive. Thank you so much. It seems like you're going to totally stay grounded and you know keep a focus you. on what's important. Which this last year, you know, everything's life has changed and people have a lot of you know I think clarity about priorities. By the way, what is the one thing you've been binge watching in quarantine that you've loved? I've been watching a lot of The Simpsons. It's sad, but I've seen all 32 seasons, every single episode. Wow. That's something I wear with pride. I got bad right here. All every single episode. If you give me the first minute of any episodes, I can tell you what it's about. Wow. Um, I love that show so much. The Simpsons, I finished. And I've been watching a lot of murder mystery shows. Like if if the acting didn't work out, I'd be a really bomb detective. Like <laughs> I'd be so good. Like it's sad that I'm an actor because I, I really helped the world out. If I was a detective, a thousand more cases would be solved. Maybe one day you'll play a detective on TV and it'll be a full circle moment. Full circle. That'd be incredible. <laughs> Congratulations on the show, on Thank the series. Thank you so much. And just being an all around positive kid, we appreciate you. your energy. Thank you so much. You, can... you are incredible. Oh, that's so nice. Maxwell, you take care. Tell your family hi. And um, again, look forward to talking to you for your next project, which I'm sure will be coming around the corner, right? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Go Ducks, go Knights. Let's start our own team. Look at this. 
your first teammate. I would not be an acid physically. I have more of a podcast body. <laughs>